everybody welcome back to another reaction video this is the man with a balloon fetish off of my st strange sex not my strange addiction but it probably could fall under both with tlc um i'm expecting a man to get off to balloons maybe popping them maybe stretching them maybe the colors selection but anyway Let's get into it. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a recommendation down below. Let's do it. This is one of my favorite colors. It's um, orange. Cheers. It's transparent. Pretty much you can see through the balloon while it's getting inflated. This is gonna be epic. <laughs> cool, cool, epic. As it's getting bigger, I get a little Eyebrow anxious, piercing. a little nervous. You know, I get really excited. <laughs> earphones. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh my god, that was awesome. Oh yeah, I'm shaking, dude. Definitely. That. That was definitely incredible. I guess pretty much all balloons deserve to die, right? What? Fetish. Noun. Sexual attraction to objects or body parts not conventionally viewed as being sexual in nature. Kind of narrows the... My name is Christopher. I was born and raised in Rutland, Vermont. I've lived here People for say they have a fetish years. for whatever. I and it's usually there's a not day that falling goes by that where definition. I am not playing with a balloon or having some type of fun with it. Pretty much anything can be eroticized. Some people have a sexual interest in enemas. Some people have a sexual interest in squishing bugs. Some people are aroused by having a pie thrown in their face. The best part of the whole thing what? is necking the balloon. Necking is. A cream pie? But don't Is where you blow the balloon up, probably to around 14 to 15 inches, and pretty much just pull the neck. Dude's a size queen. Back in it, pretty much inflates it, stretches it out. Why would someone be attracted to an inflatable toy and someone else be attracted to a shoe and someone else be attracted to leather? It likely has something to do a guy is attracted to leather, a shoe, and a balloon walk into a bar. With an association in childhood. Most experts believe that a fetish is rooted in a childhood experience where an object became linked to sexual pleasure or arousal. As a child, I was very, very petrified of balloons. I can remember going to the fair, or being at parties, and I was so scared to the point that I would start crying. Fear and excitement often go hand in hand. They're sort of two sides of the same coin. When we are uncomfortable or experiencing something unpleasant, we look for ways to bind our anxiety or distance ourselves from that experience. So one way of doing that is to take an uncomfortable feeling and turn it into a more comfortable or pleasurable or positive feeling. It was like probably from the age to like eight to 12. I realized that I felt this empowerment if I could get it as big as I could without it popping. Okay. <laughs> I would blow up the balloon and try to get it as big as I could. Just, I really liked the sight of the balloon back then more than the pop. And like the pop didn't really correspond until I was really sexually active with my life. The pop. It makes sense. There's a lot of innuendo there. And then when I realized that I really liked the popping and I got past the fear of that, it just opened up a whole new world for me. At the age of 15, Chris's fascination with popping balloons took an on an sexual dimension. I remember just coming home and blowing up the balloon and pleasuring myself. Um, when I finally popped the balloon is when I finally found 
that I was the most attracted. A release? I did. To the balloon itself. Oh, man. Balloons activate all facets of our senses. So, so if you just have a room full of balloons and you're just pop, 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 you're just like, oh. They're pretty to look at. They're colorful. They're cheerful. They have interesting shapes and sizes. They resemble breasts and penises. What kind of balloons you when use? I fill my room up with balloons. It's very exciting. Is that a gangbang? Yeah, I feel like I'm in a place I would love to. That's cheating. You gotta blow them up yourself. Come on, man. Get into it. Put in the effort. Be in for the rest of my life. I, I think it's calming and very enjoyable. There's really nothing inherently dangerous or deviant about this fetish. The problem arises when a person cannot generalize their interest from the object to another human being. Chris has only had one sexual relationship with a woman who indulged his balloon fetish. Since they broke up a few years ago, shocking, Chris has been single. Shocking. If I were to go on a first date, I wouldn't feel really comfortable coming out and talking about it until I got to know the person. And I guess I would just be afraid that that person would walk away from me and be like, oh my God. Because people are so quick to Throw judge. Your That's profile. just it. If you can enjoy a balloon and then enjoy a partner, that's fine. But if you can only enjoy a balloon, that's going to really limit how you live in society. This fetish is so important in my life and makes me so happy. Then with a, a female, I really believe that would be a make or break. What if he has like a water balloon toss with a partner? Include both. I don't know. I'm trying to come up with solutions here. It's not working. <laughs> if I had a female partner, I would really like to see them ride a balloon. I like watching them inflate balloons until they pop. I like oh, to God. have them be naked in a pile of balloons, just playing with them and just enjoying themselves. All right, I could see that. I mean, they're naked after all. A few years ago, Chris began searching for people to share his fetish with. Thank you, Internet. Since discovered in uh, whatever online community of fellow balloon fetishists known as Lunars. In the United States alone, it's estimated that there are between 250,000 and 500,000 self-identified lunar fetishists. That is an insane amount of people. We have a mental health crisis in this country. What's going on YouTube? <laughs> Chris here. What we got here is um, a 36-inch balloon um damn i think i'm gonna try to finish this off and see if i can blow to pop it that balloon's so thick two c's if you type balloon fetish into a search engine you'll get over six million entries i really believe that if i didn't have the lunar community and all the support they've given me i don't believe i would be here today half a million people with balloon fetish 250 to 500 Wow. I did not see that coming. That is something. I don't know how to respond. Oh, God. Does it make a difference if it's filled with helium or air? That's my question. And, uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. There is a mental health crisis in this country, and we're all witness to it. Thank you, Internet. Leave a comment down below. Any recommendations you have, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.